This is you at the courthouse on May 27, 2016, when you got your domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? It is. And next to you is a woman named Jody Gottlieb, right? Yes. Jody Gottlieb is your publicist? And dear friend. Yeah. Now I'd like to show you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 1316. This is a picture of you and your friend Rocky Pennington, right? That is correct. Your Honor, I'd like to move to admit this photograph. Any objection to 1316? No, Your Honor. All right, 1316 in evidence. You can publish the jury. This is a picture of you on May 28th, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? I don't know when this was taken. This is the day after you obtained the domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? I have no idea when this um, image was taken. I did not take it. There's no bruise on your face in this picture, is there? Again, I don't know when this was taken, and also I'm outside. I was obviously wearing makeup. I have no idea when this was taken, so I have no idea if I can Let's speak to what your recollection. bruise you can Let's see Let's refresh your recollection about when this picture was taken. Um, can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1315, just for the witness? This is an article dated May 30th, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's what it says, yes. And this article contains the same photograph of you and Ms. Pennington we were just looking at, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see that. And the article is entitled, Amber Heard Smiles as She Puts Arm Around Friend One Day After Getting Restraining Order Against Johnny Depp. Is that, is that what the title says? I know that's what the title says, yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'm gonna move to admit and publish the article with everything but the headline and date and the photo redacted. Objection, Your Honor. That's inconsistent from the way you've treated I'll sustain the objection. All right, next question. Let's take a look at picture plaintiff's exhibit 1317. This is also a picture of you and Miss Pennington on May 28th, 2016, isn't it? I don't know when this photo was taken, but it looks like the same outing as the picture prior. Your Honor, I'm going to move to admit and publish Plaintiff's Exhibit 1317. Any objection? No, Your Honor. All right, 1317 in evidence, you can publish. There's no bruise on your face in this picture either, right? I disagree. Uh, if it is taken when you represent it was taken, then obviously there's a bruise on my face. It's covered by makeup as per usual. Let's zoom out of that picture for a moment, please. Thanks, Tom. That's Josh Drew in this picture, right? Yes. That's correct. And Ms. Pennington? That is correct. In there too? Ms. That Pennington is correct. submitted a sworn statement on your behalf in support of your domestic violence restraining order, didn't she? I believe she did, yes. Mr. Drew also submitted a statement in support of your domestic violence restraining order. I believe they both did, yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hurd, I'd like to show you Defendant's Exhibit 512, which is already in evidence. You've seen this photograph before, right? I have. On the second day of your direct testimony, you testified that this was taken in the downstairs of the main apartment on December 15th, 2015. Do you recall that testimony? Uh, yes, I believe so. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to Penthouse 5 that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident, yes? Uh, I'm not quite sure from what incident this is when I see this photo in a, in a vacuum without context. Let's give you that context. Can we please, thanks, if I could have day 16 trial testimony. Your Honor, can we approach? All right. 